One of the biggest lies that we're told in business to business marketing is that you need to generate tons and tons of new content. The problem is that you end up in this very expensive treadmill of producing more and more content and you're not actually achieving much in terms of economies of scale with customer acquisition, with brand recognition, et cetera. So the question is, why do we get to this position where people think you need tons of content? Well, I think one of the reasons is because agencies and consultants push it. They push it because perhaps it worked for them and perhaps because they have an incentive to want you to need to produce things on the long tail. So they're getting repeat work out of it. Now, I'm not saying that they're being very deceptive intentionally, but there is the inherent bias there of wanting to steer you in the direction of getting more work out of them. The other thing that's driving this are companies like HubSpot that have been advocating for years this idea that you need to focus on inbound marketing, you need to focus on creating content rather than pushing things like advertising. And I'll, I'll, in a moment, I'll get to why advertising is one of the most efficient ways to raise your brand awareness and uh, increase your customer acquisition at scale. The other key thing driving this is influencers. And what are influencers? Influencers are basically little media companies that design themselves around the idea of creating more and more content. So uh, naturally, there's the inclination to advise uh, you to do exactly what worked for them, which is creating media. But that's not going to work for your business uh, in every situation. So what ends up happening is these business to business companies will do things like produce a blog post. And the blog post might generate, you know, a few hundred people in terms of traffic. Uh, but it doesn't really have a sizable impact. Occasionally, you're going to have a blog post that blows up and uh, is a stellar performer, but that's not very predictable. So you run into the situation where there's very unpredictable results. And often what happens is people will, will post these things on social media, and the only real results you get are internally. So employees uh, within your company or existing customers are going to like your posts, they're going to comment, and then you get this positive reinforcement loop where it's like, yeah, creating more content is working. But is that really the most efficient way to generate a uh, pipeline? I, I don't think so. So I don't think the issue is so much creating more content as these two things. Number one is consumption. You need to focus on whether the content is getting consumed. And there are more efficient ways to do that that don't involve just cranking out more. And it has to do with promoting the content and focusing first on distribution. The second thing you need to focus on rather than creating more content is, is the content that you have persuasive? And there are certain frameworks that we can use to make it more persuasive. So for example, uh, Jonah Berger of Wharton Business School, he has the Reduce framework that advises you on how to change people's mind. In other words, how to overcome those resistance barriers that prevent people from switching to your product. So I think what you really need are a critical few pieces of content. So something like a case study, a critical white paper, perhaps some very creative memorable brand advertising videos. And now we need to think about how do we efficiently build a brand? How do we efficiently build awareness? How do we efficiently persuade people? And ultimately, the answer to that question is brand marketing. Brand marketing is the single most economical way of distributing and raising the propensity for people to want to buy from you. And when you reach that level, what you need to be thinking about is things like reach and frequency, which are parameters that you have control over. Now, if you're not controlling your advertising in this way, what you're relying on is the waves of inbound marketing. Are more and more people searching for this? Does this happen to be a topic that they're going to find on Google search? When you do something like outbound advertising, video advertising through LinkedIn and through Facebook, for example, and let's say you're paying four cents to get somebody to watch your video, you can get them to watch it every single week for an entire year. That is how you efficiently distribute and get content consumed so that you can build your brand and you can build demand for your product in the long run.